everybody, Gretchen Fleener here from Paintertainment, and today we're going to paint a fun camping scene. First I'm going to take my number four round brush and load it up with just a kind of metallic light blue for my sky. And I'm going to start by just faintly outlining the shape of my tent. I'm going to have it off to the side a little bit. And then just fill it in. Don't worry about being super precise here. Now I'm switching to my Chameleon Blending Brush, just a little bit damp. And I'm going to use that to feather the edges of my sky. add some trees to the background and I actually love to use this little feather stencil. It's part of the boho stencil set of the mini vans. And then I'm going to use this stencil brush we sell at paintertainment.com. I love this brush because it's really dense and those fine little bristles get into the tiniest bit of detail. So I'm loading it up with a dark green. You want to make sure it's as dry as possible so you can avoid seeping through your stencil. Position your feathered trees where you like them and then just simply swirl your brush around over the stencil. As you can see it really makes all those tiny little details show up and here I'm avoiding the edge of my tent. I like to do the background first when possible and then I can overlap it with my tent. Let's repeat this process until you have as many trees as you like. You can even vary the different shades of green, put in a brighter green in there for a little more texture and interest. I want to make a spot for my campfire, so I'm going to take a slightly damp towel here and just rub a little bit of my background off. Now I'm loading up with some yellow using my number four round brush. And I'm just going to press on the bottom and, and lift as I flick my brush up to create some licks of flame. I'm going to do the same thing but with a little orange and make sure that I don't totally cover up the yellow. Just add a little orange and then a little bit of red on top of the orange for the fire. And of course yellow glitter. Now I'm loading up some red and we're going to paint the tent. So this is the front face of the tent. I'm just going to outline it first and then we'll fill it in. The back side of the tent is going to be a little bit darker shade of red. Using a maroon here. Again, just outlining that shape and filling it in. And next, I'm going to load up some dark green, the same color I used for my trees. And I just want to blend them into the grass and a background so they don't look like they're just so plastered on there. And I'm filling in that center spine uh, since the tree would have a trunk there just to make it a little more solid looking. And I'm going to add just a few little flicks of grass, a little dots on the edge to fade the design away. Same thing on the other side here. And we'll add a little bit on the front as well. Now I'm going to switch over to my little round dauber. I'm going to load it with some gray and then just kind of scrub the edge of it on black. So you can see it's mostly gray with a little bit of black. 
I will just press and twist to add some folders around my campfire. Gotta make sure it's contained now, fire safety. And finally we will do some black outlines. I'm starting with the door to my tent. Turn that in and then just adding a few outlines. Add a little bit of white highlights as well, just on the edge of those folders. A little bit on the tent too, in the flames, just to make them stand out from the background a little bit more. And for my finishing touch, I'm going to add some stars. This is a Deb's Daughter, available for just 10 cents at Paintertainment.com. I love this tool for little uniform dots. And I'm going to load it up with some yellow. And you can see it's real quick just to make perfectly uniform stars. have it. Thanks so much for watching.